Welcome to Chemgau in the heart of Bavaria. We're here for stage number five in the Golden Trail World Series. Now let's check out these landscapes. The CTR is actually 44.8 kilometers and it goes 2,700 meters up and down. So it's the longest race in the series. It's cut into two loops. That's gonna be important because it starts off quite shallow which means people are gonna be sucked into too fast a race. And for me, this race doesn't begin until the halfway point. So we're gonna see runners at the top at the first climb who aren't gonna make it to the finish in the positions they're in. Because it's the fifth race in the season, that means a lot of the established names have already qualified and they're not here today. But because some runners need the points, they're being forced to step up into the marathon. And that means it's going to be a real struggle to try and make it to the finish, still running hard. In the women's, Anis Sabre for me is the favourite. She came second in Mont Blanc. She's been on great form all season and she's clearly got the legs to run the distance. But she's going to be pressured from the start from a local girl. Anna Hanna has a 2.26 marathon time. That's five minutes quicker than Maud. And so that first hill, she'll be shooting off and upsetting the pace of everyone else. Iris Pessy needs to do well. We've got Danny Marina coming over from America who needs to qualify by scoring points well here today. And as ever, there's a lot of other runners who can upset that apple cart. In the men's, Bart is here. He's got enough points, but he wants a win. And he's shown already in Mont Blanc, he's got the legs for the marathon. He'll need to protect his legs on the first descent to be able to race twice down the hills, but I think he's got it in him. Al Hussein is also back. The flying camel. He's got the speed as we've seen at Dolomis run, but he's cramped in longer races. But word on the street is he's managed to sort that out. So if he can last, he potentially could win this. Anthony Ferber's fresh off the back of an MCC run, and we've also got some local favorites, and Fred is back needing to score big. Let's see what happens at the first climb. Good music. Not good. What? <laughs> it's not good music. <laughs> Always I forgot open this jazz. Yeah. And during the race I have to open first, take out. Lots of things in my pockets as you can tell. Oh, got an entire oh, picnic. There we go. Looking good. Right. Okay. Now we are talking. All right. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. <laughs> All right. You slept like this? Yeah, I slept like this. I woke up five minutes ago. <laughs> Ready to go. Uh, do we have everything we need? Legs, what? lungs, heart, no brain. Just leave that here and then you can go. I'm always waiting for the girls, aren't we? I think we are good. <laughs> Where is my phone? See, it's true. <laughs> yeah, it's down here. Go get it. Do <laughs> you give me a little love note? Please, fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> k mark and the men have come out with huge aggression there's a pack of the first 15 runners all together i didn't actually recognize who is at the front but you've got people like francesco puppy who are marathon specialist in that group and he could really start to push the pace on this first climb recognize anyone in the ladies that's right ninka brinkman is back she came second at sierra's and now in her first proper race of this distance and she's led out She's got a nice little lead over Anes, who's in second, and Sara Alonso is in third. She's got ability, she's doing well in the series, but hasn't podiumed yet, and hasn't really performed at this distance before. So it'll be interesting to see if she can last until the finish. 
There's quite a few ladies behind them, but this hill is going to be important in seeing who's gone out too fast. Can Ninka hold this pace? Let's find out. Good job. Two hours in at the bottom of the first loop and ladies and gentlemen, we have got a race on our hands. Francesco Puppy attacked on the first hill, got a lead, but then had an issue of his shoe allowing Fred and Bart to pass. Fred was leading at the top. He had a 20 second lead over Bart at this stage, which isn't much. Fred's got the capability to finish this in first, but he's coming back from injury and Bart is a very strong finisher. Closely behind is El Hussein and maybe 20 seconds back is Francesco. So any of those four can easily win this and we're not even halfway. In the ladies, Ninka is showing why she was second in Sierra Zanau. She's got about a six minute lead and she looked so relaxed. I can't see anything stopping her other than herself right now. But Anes is still looking calm. She's only about a minute ahead of Sara, who's also looking strong and very confident followed closely by Danny and the two Germans, including Anna Hanna. I think first could be gone in the ladies, but second could still be any of seven races. We've got more than half to go. Let's see what happens on this next big hill. I told you this race started at halfway, and by then Bart had already lost his lead. Fred and Francesco used the flat to try and get ahead of him, but then Bart retaliated on the first climb. I didn't know he was such a strong climber and was leading by the top. When he came past me on the down, his teeth were gritted. He was clearly in pain from the force of the downhill, but he was steaming to the finish. He wanted that win more than anyone else. In second, Francesco strided out past Fred and gets his first podium of this series. And Fred, also his first podium, has maybe done enough to qualify if he could be podiuming in the next race. And in the women, it's the same old story, dominated by one woman, Maud. No, Nenka. Wow, what a race for her. Not only did she win by 11 minutes, she destroyed the course record on a longer course. And if she just needs one more good result and she'll be in the final, and with a bit more time to train, she genuinely could be the winner of this whole series. In second place, Anis looked smooth from the start, unchallenged, unfazed. She came in with a comfortable second. And in third, Sara on a first marathon comes third for a first podium. What a result. Caitlin was flying down the last hill, but she couldn't quite catch her. So we think that's enough for her to be in the finals. We'll be back for the next race, which is all important. But for Maud, you've got a challenger. You know who it is. It's Nanka. Sleep well tonight. We're back in three weeks for the Skyrun, and it's their last chance to qualify. It's 21K, it's short, it's sharp, it's technical, and every point will count. It's also the biggest party of the season, so get your dancing shoes on. Happy trails. <laughs>